in this tournament. Well, Campbell's a proud father of his young son, Leo, and his partner, Lindsay, I'm sure, is watching back home right now and cheering him on. That serious hand injury in 2009 could have been the turning point for good or for bad for Luke Campbell. And the good news for all us British boxing fans is, is that it gave him added motivation to make his mark. He missed the cut, the selection for the Beijing Olympics. But at these World Championships, he's qualified for London 2012. And as part of the road to the London Olympics, wouldn't it be sensational for Campbell to take a World Championship gold here in 2011. Campbell in the red for England, Alvarez for Cuba in the, the blue. Three three-minute rounds for this World Championship gold. Now you can see that Alvarez right there in the center is Luke Campbell doing a good job keeping his hands up high, both boxers for that matter, fundamentally sound, but I do like young Campbell's defense. High guard, hands in front of his face, good footwork as far as the body placement, the, the, the weight dispersion should be evenly centered between both legs, and you could see that Alvarez and Campbell both do a great job with that. Campbell, the southpaw, leading with the right, looking to get that big left into the Cuban. Blocking well, the English boxer in the early exchanges. Notice how neither boxer, a minute into this round, has started working their jab. The most potent of weapons has a nice lead right hand by Alvarez to get the action going, and Luke Campbell is going to want to start letting his hands go as well. Well, Alvarez is showing us the skill set that's brought him a nice victory in the semi-finals here. He's very fast with the hands and also mixes up the punches and the shots, body to head, hook to jab. He really does have a wide-ranging skill set, so all of those defensive skills really will be needed for the uh, English boxer. You're absolutely right, Nick, and you, you point out something important that you could see early on in this round how Alvarez is already starting to go to the body and connect of Campbell. Campbell's going to do a better job defending the body. He's got to get his elbows in tighter, and he's got to tuck his chin a little better, and he's got to look through his eyebrows at all points, keeping his eyes on Alvarez, but covering up on the body because those body blows are going to really start to rack up points for Alvarez. And before Campbell knows what hit him, he's going to be down a few halfway through this bout. Well, only one British boxer has won a World Amateur Championship, World Championship gold in the amateur ranks. That was Frankie Gavin, another Southpaw Irish boxer out of Birmingham. And of course, went on to be the hot favourite in Beijing in 2008. Sadly, failed to make the weight. And uh, Gavin, an accomplished professional boxer now, just needs to up the work rate a little bit here. Campbell evenly matched both boxers. In these early exchanges, 25 seconds left on the first round. Good body work there from Campbell. Hook to the ribs of the Cuban. Covering up well, needs to counter now. One of those punches pummeling the cover of the English boxer. And again, Campbell, I don't think he's been quite aggressive enough. He's got to need to start to press the action a little bit more throughout the next two rounds. Well, good skills from Campbell, and I'm sure the words from the corner will be up the tempo, up the work rate. So often we've seen boxers draw clear in the first and second round and leave an impossible task. And you can't really, Castle, let your opponent get more than five ahead by, your head, by the time you're heading into that third round because I don't think we've seen anybody claw that kind of margin back. Yeah, five points would be a tough hole to dig out of. The Cuban right now is going to need to keep the pressure on through the remainder of this bout, as he has done in the first, and Luke Campbell is going to need to get his work rate up. Yeah. There's a confirmation of the first round score. There is work to do from Campbell. The judges are agreeing with us. Alvarez, four. Luke Campbell, two. Wow. 
One thing that Campbell can do to try and connect is to start to use more feints. I'd like to see boxing a little upright, a little stiff. I'd like to see him have a little more bounce in his step. I'd like to see him break at the waist and trying to use deceptive angles so that he could score and put the pressure on Alvarez. Right now, Alvarez seems to not feel like anything could stop him. I don't think he's felt any punches from Campbell that have given him concern. Well, I've got in my notes on my commentary card in front of me in the box here that he's a, he's a compact, busy fighter, and he needs to get more busy now, Luke Campbell. Look at how he's waiting. He's just waiting for Campbell excuse me, for Alvarez to come to him. He's starting to chase Alvarez around the ring. Alvarez being a good ring general here and letting Campbell bring the action. And again, as we've seen, looking to do the counter punching from the outside. Good body shot from the English boxer. Covering up well. Got a counter just that little bit quicker. There's no question of the 24-year-old's dedication. Praised by the performance director of the GB squad for being one of the most hardest working boxers in the team. Rob McCracken, of course, often refers to him as the benchmark of the GB squad. First in, last out for his gym work. They say what you do in the gym is what you do in the ring. If you're not doing it in the gym, then you're not going to be able to execute when it comes to be showtime. And right now, if Campbell is indeed the hard worker that they say he is, he's going to really need to step up his performance. We're getting down to the final minute of round number two. It looks a little bit like round number one so far. I have to agree with you, Castle. Just a slight air of caution about Campbell's boxing. We understand why the Cuban has had a real... Oh, that's a good punch. Much better from Campbell. Hopefully that gives him the confidence to put in a few more combinations. Alvarez has been the real giant killer of the bantamweight division. Taking out five, five top ten seeded boxers to get to this final. I think Campbell needs to stop paying this man so much respect. I think he needs to get on him right now. Third round, as you pointed out, Nick, not the place you want to be down points in the third. Better combination from the English boxer in red. Luke Campbell needs a couple more of those times going against him. Last couple of seconds of the... Second round. And Luke Campbell clearly not finding the rhythm that he found in his semis and his quarterfinals. It seemed to flow so much more naturally in the earlier rounds. I'm not sure whether it's a little bit of nerves or he just can't get the measure of this very skillful Cuban boxing. But we see some good point scoring strikes from Campbell there's just not enough of them coming through and part of the reason uh, kudos to Alvarez notice how he's not your typical straight punching type of boxer he really comes from all angles almost I think we mentioned the other day like Manny Pacquiao who we've seen he throws punches and bunches from all angles he's constantly moving and shape-shifting and as a result it's very unsettling to young Luke who's really going to need for the force to be with him here in the third round well, another disappointing score for Luke Campbell. He's now four points off the uh, Cuban boxer. And as we said in the first round, you ha we haven't seen many claw four back and then the victory. Luke Campbell needs to have an absolutely golden ring here if he's to take the medal that he wants so badly. You can see now there's the sense of urgency, but is this too much too late? <laughs> And e even when Luke does get to his man and connects to either the body or the face, it's mostly been the body, there just doesn't seem to be enough amperage to make it burn. They're just not quite having the effect on Alvarez that he'd like them to. I don't think Alvarez sees any danger in this. There's a nice left hand off the jab by Campbell. Probably the first time we saw him put a nice combination, a one-two together. Look how easily Alvarez sticks in there, gets his punch in, and gets out of harm's way. He never had to move his feet. Well, Alvarez. 
Alvarez seems to have control of the bout. Past the halfway point of the third and final round. Oh, that's much better work with the right hand of Campbell. We can hear cheers from the crowd of punches, Luke. Punches, Luke. And whilst he's been a good opponent for Alvarez, he's been outboxed by the Cuban. With just one minute now, just over one minute left. <laughs> Alvarez, remember, four point advantage coming into this third and final round. And we need some pretty quick and high scoring combinations. Kind of would like to see Campbell just stand there in the middle of the ring, drop his hands, and say to the Cuban, come on, bring it on. Because clearly the Cuban doesn't really want to stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. That's going to be Campbell's only chance at this point. He looks like he's getting flustered. He has not been able to turn this into a backyard brawl. Not at all. And this is so often the way amateur boxing works out. It's all about consistency through the rounds. It's all about putting the points on the board in the first, the second, and the third. We saw that with the Welsh boxer earlier, Andrew Selby, had a fantastic third and final round, but the work wasn't there in the two previous. And here we see again Luke Campbell, another British boxer that could do with a five-round bout here, just starting to get the measure, just starting to get the mark on Alvarez towards the end of the third round. And the bout is over. Luke Campbell, by our count here in the commentary box, will be taking silver for England. Alvarez has comfortably taken this one. Big disappointment for Luke to come this way. All this way. Just to be outclassed by the man in blue. Yeah, well, well, that may be the case. The silver is far from shabby, and Luke has nothing to be ashamed of. He could go back to England with his head up high. He took the silver. He's the second best boxer in the world at this weight class, and that is something to be quite proud of. And he's going to the 2012 London Olympic Games as well, and there's a lot of time for Luke to fine-tune his skills between them. Let's get the confirmation from the judges. Lazario Alvarez of Cuba, the first of three Cubans in these finals here today, takes gold 14 points to 10 in the bantam weight division. Luke Campbell of England taking the silver medal. And look at that much better round again in the third and final three minutes. If we'd have gone five, it could have been a different story, Castle. Yeah, well, that is often the case. However, three rounds in elite amateur boxing at this level. It's a world-class level. That's how it goes. They all have their chance to box more rounds. There's always the pro game if they choose. World Series of Boxing, part of the opportunity to make that transition and with the newly announced Aiba Pro Boxing Series right behind, there's going to be plenty of opportunities for both of these boxers to box more rounds when they're ready. I think the key now for Luke Campbell is, is that they'll go away and study the team video very carefully at the way Alvarez has dominated and uh, won this gold medal. And I think that with some good video analysis, Luke Campbell will reassess his tactical plan. He'll work hard with his coach, Mike Bromby, and, of course, the GB team coaches and Rob McCracken, the performance director for Team GB of Boxing, and uh, come back a little more prepared. When you take a silver medal in the Worlds, when you get